The business integrations continue, the Dash Core team has hired 12 full-time developers, and there's been a significant price bump. More on all of this in this week's Dash Details. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson. Thanks for tuning in. Let's start with this week's business and headlines. And may I be the first to tell you that within the next 24 to 48 hours, uh, Dash will be integrated into Coinapult, uh, and namely Coinapult's relationship with crypto capital as well. What does this mean? How does this work? Uh, to tell us more, I've contacted Coinapult's CEO, Gabe Sukunik. A couple of years ago now, uh, Coinapult, uh, much like many other crypto companies in the space, we had a lot of problems with banking. So we were already in Panama and we met and started working with Crypto Capital. And so they're licensed as a money transmitter essentially here in Panama, uh, similar to a Western Union or a MoneyGram. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's what they've been doing for a bunch of years. And um, so, yeah, we're, we're now, I guess, going to kind of allow Dash access to crypto capital and their fiat wire transfer uh, processing uh, through the Coinapult API, as well as user interface on the website. So all of Europe is covered. The United States is covered. Canada is covered. Most of Latin and South America is covered. Uh, Asia is covered. So they broadly accept um customers internationally. I wanted to learn more about how Dash users can use Coinapult and Crypto Capital specifically. Uh, to learn that, I reached out to Daniel Diaz, Dash Core's head of business development, who was the one who brokered this integration in the first place. And he has this to say. Now, the reason why this is different from what you would normally do when sending money to exchanges or other brokers is that in Crypto Capital, you're going to create an account on your own name or under your company's name. So for example, if I want to buy some Dash, I'm going to send money to myself. So I'm going to wire money to Daniel Diaz, account number, such and such, well, with Swift uh, information or whatever. So I don't lose control the moment I'm sending the, m the money on that first step. So the moment it gets to the crypto capital, it's still completely under my control, right? Which is a big difference you know, when sending money to some exchanges, I remember the first time I bought Bitcoin, I bought it on BTC E. So I had to send money somewhere in on Eastern Europe. I was very nervous for a week, had to put up a support ticket. So it, it really takes away all that friction. Elsewhere in business, the Korean exchange Bitthumb has just opened Dash Trading. A coffee bar in Vietnam called B Coffee takes Dash for payment. And the marketing agency Part One, based in Hamburg, Germany, also takes Dash for their services. Moving to headlines, Finance Magnates covered the 20% Amazon gift card discount that's now available to Dash users through bitcart.io. And our very own Stella Bell had her article that detailed uh, working for the Dash DAO mentioned in a Venture Beat piece on the future of business organization. Moving on to developments. Dash Core CTO Andy Freer has hired 12 new, well, some new, some have become now full time, but most of them are new uh, full time developers. The first six are C++ developers, and they are Will Ray, Oleg Girko, Carol Ricklicki, Ilya Savinov, Sergey Gladkov, and Ian Marshall. The next six are as follows. Alex Werner has gone from part-time to full-time and is the lead of the DAPI team. Chuck Williams has gone from part-time to full-time and is the new user experience development lead. Lyubov Samusenka is the new operations manager for the Evolution team. Pascal Meyer is a DAPI developer. Chaplin has gone from part-time to full-time as a Dash Core tester and developer. And Pierre Van Ruin has gone from part-time to full-time as a DAPI developer. Welcome, all you new people! 
Elsewhere in developments, the Treasury-funded crypto show sponsorship for these next few months now includes a cannabis outreach tour done by Danny, one of the show's co-hosts. To find out more about what exactly he plans on doing, I just asked him. Over the past three years, we've done a lot of cannabis interviews. Every every April, we just like all month long, that's all we do is cannabis interviews. So we have a lot of con- connections in the cannabis industry. I think that the ATM is, is the first thing they need to know about, uh, that we can draw people in. Hey, you know, there's these nerds running around with a lot of money that can come in and use an ATM and then realize that they're in your dispensary and maybe they might want something else while they're there. So, you, you know, you're going to drive traffic to the dispensary just for having people coming in wanting to get crypto, whether it be Bitcoin or Dash. I am probably going to be heading out within a week, and I'll get back when I get back. We're going to hit Nevada, Arizona, California, Oregon, Washington. Uh, Montana is medicinal, but I think I could try there anyway. And elsewhere in developments, on April 19th, the Digital October Center in Moscow had a blockchain event and our very own Alex RU, along with the exchange Mars, as well as the payment kiosk manufacturer Pred Processor, threw an after party for it. Here's a bit of footage from that. www.dash.org Digital cash, you can spend it any way you want to, dash, digital cash, no risk, so don't worry about the drama, dash, digital cash, you can spend it any way you want to, And it was this treasury proposal that funded some of the expenses of this after party. And finally, in developments, Dash developer Kodax is seeking testers for the imminent release of his Dash Pay point of sale system. No special skills are required, so if you have an Android device and you are willing to help test, just shoot an email to codax at gmail.com. And now to network and price. Dash is currently trading at 85 US dollars and 95 cents. In the last 24 hours, our trade volume has been roughly $19 million. And our current coin supply is just under 7.3 million Dash. Our market capitalization today is 625 million US dollars. Over the last three months, our market cap has looked something like this. Here's over the last year. And here's our lifetime. This means that our treasury can pay out up to $617,000 worth of Dash this cycle, uh, of which 583,000 have been allocated. So the voting deadline uh, has passed and the payout is set to take place in the wee early morning hours of Friday, May the 5th, at which point a new treasury cycle will begin. In our network today, there are 4,460 masternodes. Here's our lifetime chart of that. And in mining, our hash rate is 3.18 terahashes per second. And here is the lifetime chart for that hash rate. That is Dash Details for this week. Before I sign off, I'd like to say congratulations to the three winners of the Dash Force video contest of why Dash is the best cryptocurrency. Congratulations to first place Wilmer Toro, second place Edward Stover, and third place Wei Gu. And on the note of contests, Stella Bell's art contest is still going on. To enter, simply create a Dash-themed piece of your own art, and then tweet it to Stella Bell using the hashtag dash for newbies First place is 2-dash, second place is 1-dash, and third place is 0.75-dash. All right. Please subscribe to this video each week by sending an email to amanda at dash.org with the word subscribe in the subject line. And that's it. I'll see you next time.